Hey everyone, Jacob here with Movie Relics, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the first props that we ever really wanted, which is our hero, screen-used Riddick goggles from the Chronicles of Riddick. And since Vin Diesel has become somewhat of a meme recently, we decided that we should talk about another franchise besides the Fast and the Furious that he has been featured in and share it with you, our collector family. So before we get to the Riddick goggles, let's take a look at the movies and Riddick himself. Pitch Black, the first Riddick movie, came out back in 2000 starring Vin Diesel as Riddick, a badass Furian fugitive who has a knack for getting out of tight places and situations no one else can. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Oh, and coming up with some pretty creative ways to kill people too. I'll kill you with my teacup. <laughs> In fact, Riddick was Vin Diesel's breakout role. Just a year later, we saw him star as Dominic Toretto in The Fast and the Furious, and then in 2002 as Xander Cage in Triple X. Pitch Black had a budget of about $23 million and grossed just over $53 million in theaters. With strong reviews and numbers, Universal decided to make The Chronicles of Riddick, which released on June 11, 2004, having a budget of $110 million. However, this Riddick movie didn't perform nearly as well as the first or the next movie. Only grossing $115 million, it only made a profit of about $5 million, while the third movie, Riddick, had a budget of $38 million and grossed over $98 million. So what is it about Riddick that makes him so special and has caused the Riddick franchise to become a cult classic? Riddick is an anti-hero and while most people wouldn't really connect with an anti-hero, there is a draw to him because he seems to be superhuman and has superhuman agility, strength, and fighting ability. He is very intelligent and clearly shows it with his ability to make a plan, execute it, or even seems to be able to predict the future in some cases. When the chains come off, Jesus Christ. box boy, you go in the first five seconds. Really? And you plan on killing me with what? Your mouth? That shiny blade. I'd love to see you try. <laughs> He knows how the world works and can read any situation or person like a book. Besides being incredibly smart, strong, and athletic, you also notice that Riddick is always wearing his goggles and has a shine to his eyes when he takes them off. The reason behind him always wearing his goggles is exactly what you would think. It's to block out light. But why does he have to block out this light that just seems like a normal amount to us? Well, it's because he had a surgery done in a prison facility by a bovine veterinarian that cut into his cornea and drilled through his eyes to inject a reflective substance behind his retina. Or so that's what Riddick says. According to the lore, however, he is considered an Alpha Furion, which gives him the ability to see and detect things in pitch black darkness. Tell me what you see outside that window, doll. Cyclops unit, two ships, a couple dead guys in plastic. And you don't see anything else? Nothing else. Let me know what you do. And also possess the power called Wrath of the Furions 
which is a sort of energy wave that he is able to dispel from his body. The character Shira either helps him or allows him to unleash the Wrath of the Furians power as you can see here from the scene in the Chronicles of Riddick. This mark carries the anger of an entire race. But it's going to hurt. It is also said that the eye shine was gifted to him instead of having the surgery done because Kira in the Chronicles of Riddick did everything that Riddick told her to do and she still couldn't get the eye shine like Riddick has. How do I get eyes like that? You gotta kill a few people. <laughs> did that. Did a lot of that. <laughs> and then you gotta get sent to a slam. One where they tell you you'll never see daylight again? Only there wasn't any doctor here who could shine my eyes, not even for 20 menthol cools. Was there anything you said that was true? <laughs> Being able to see in the dark so well does come with some drawbacks though. The main drawback being is that with too much light, Riddick can't see through it and is then blinded. She couldn't cut it. <laughs> Which is why he is then forced to wear these goggles. And quite honestly, I can't see shit out of them. Due to technical difficulties, me forgetting to film this section, Future Jacob will be wearing different clothes for a couple of moments. So while there really isn't something super special about the actual goggles themselves, besides maybe having some Vin Diesel sweat on them, they are pretty much just futuristic welding goggles. While I can't go over a few of the important tells, I can go over the basics. They are fitted with his signature circular blacked out lenses, and these goggles have a uniquely designed rubber strap tightly securing them to his head so that they don't slip off while... <laughs> or or while or during oh and never touch the goggles when the ride's over your goggles are mine Overall though, they are perfect for a very active lifestyle of killing. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. A cool and interesting fact that not everybody knows is that Vin Diesel actually owns the rights to Riddick. Vin Diesel was able to actually get the rights from Universal by waiving his acting fee in the cameo scene at the end of the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Vin Diesel has also been working on a fourth movie script for the last few years, but recently confirmed that the script was finished and that they are waiting for the right time to start filming in Australia. Although we might not have an exact date on when filming might start or if there is an estimated release date, but it is exciting to know that the Riddick franchise will continue. We are also looking forward to this so that we can maybe add another pair of goggles to the collection, but most of all, we're just excited to see what is in store for Riddick in the fourth installment movie, Riddick Furia. If you guys are also excited for that fourth Riddick movie, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. God, you really can't see shit out of these.